Today I got three thermostats and I've always wanted to see how these things work in the radiator. So just for kicks, I'm going to heat them up with my heat gun and watch them. This one is a 90C Celsius. I think that's 190-ish. This one's 80C, should be 175-ish. This one has 90C scratched out, but then it has one, what is that? 160 written on it. So obviously that one's been modified, so this will be a good test to see which one moves first. Oh, that one's moving. Yeah, this one's moving. So see that gap right there? The thermostat is opening up, which will allow fluid to go up through the top now. Look, it came down. It's cracking on there. All right, I'm gonna really put the heat on this one and see if we can make it move. Okay, I just put the heat on that baby for over two minutes. Let's see what kind of temps we can get here. Yeah, I'm still not... Uh, still not the 190 that it claims to be, but I honestly don't know if that is supposed to go like squish that spring flat or not at full temp. It's pretty cool as I sit here and watch this, it's slowly going back up as it's cooling off. So now that you see how these things work, let's come over here to the bike. And so this is my outflow of the radiator fluid out of the motor comes and it hits the thermostat, which is right here, which is closed right now. When it's closed, it's forcing the fluid back down this bypass line, which comes and tees right into this pipe and goes right back into the motor. When the valve opens up, it lets fluid go up into the radiator and then it cools and goes back in to the motor. So that's pretty cool. So you could really hook this bypass line into either that one or that one. There's just not enough room to put it on that one. So that's why it's in that one. Anyways, that's pretty cool. I'm just uh, messing around with different temperature thermostats to try out on the bike as we go play in the snow.